In this video we are going to discuss one of the most famous superheroes of DC Comics, Cyborg. Following the mixed reception of the Justice League movie, there are still plans to make solo Cyborg film, which means the developers will have to look deep into his history of publications. That's why we want to explore his character a bit and examine prospects that movie may be taking. Cyborg, also known as Victor Stone, is a superhero who is half man and half machine. His body was destroyed in a tragic accident, but he was saved through experimental technology. Most of his body parts have been replaced with cybernetic ones, which grant him access to a large arsenal of high-tech gadgets and weaponry, while also providing life support. Stone struggles with his humanity as a machine, although his enhancements have made him incredibly powerful. When talking about his origins, it has to be noted that on New Earth, DC Comics continuity before Flashpoint event, and Prime Earth continuity after Flashpoint, Cyborg had different experiences. On New Earth, Victor Stone is the son of Silas Stone and Eleanor Stone, scientists who use him as a test subject for various intelligence enhancement projects. While these treatments are ultimately successful when Victor's IQ subsequently grows to genius levels, he grows to resent his treatment. Victor strikes up a friendship with Ron Evers, a young Miss Crean who leads him into a trouble with the law. This is the beginning of a struggle in which Victor strives for independence, engaging in pursuits of which his parents disprove, which is athletics and abandoning his studies. Victor's situation changes radically when he visits his parents' lab, where experiments in interdimensional access are done. At that moment of his entry, an aggressive gelatinous creature was accidentally pulled through and Victor's mother is killed by it. Then turned on Victor and he was severely injured by its attack before his father was able to send it back to its native dimension. With his wife dead and his son mutilated, unconscious and near death from the incident, Silas is driven to take advantage of a prototype medical prosthetic research he has access to in order to treat Victor. Unfortunately, Victor only regains consciousness after the extensive artificial limbs and implants were installed into his body without his consent. Victor was horrified at the discovery of the metallic components which involved most of the left side of his head and face, and raged that he would rather have died than be such a victim of his father's manipulations. Although his bitterness remained for some time, Victor eventually calmed down enough to successfully adjust to his implants physically. He found himself rejected by the public because of his implants, including his girlfriend would later thoughtlessly blurt out that she would prefer he had died instead of being in that state. However, Victor's conscience was unbowed, as evidenced by the fact that when Evers tried to manipulate him into participating in a terrorist attack on the United Nations, Victor decided to equip himself with his weaponized attachments and stop him on the top of the United Nations headquarters. In this continuity, he is primarily a member of the Teen Titans. Victor joins initially for the benefit of a support group of kindred spirit and freaks and has remained with the group ever since. Things are a little different in a Prime Earth continuity where Victor Stone is a high school athlete at odds with his brilliant scientist father Silas Stone. Vic was caught in an explosion at Star Labs when a nearby father box detonated. His father saved his life by using experimental technology to turn him into a cyborg in the Red Room. Dr. Stone injected his son with nanites and installed experimental robotic parts. These included a Promethean skin graft, Dr. Will Magnus's response meter, Professor Ivo's A Maze operating system, the classified and prototypical B Maze operating system, and the graduate student Ryan Choi's White Dwarf stabilizer, as well as the energies from the Father Box. This allowed Vic to access the vast New Gods data library and discover Darkseid's true invasion plans. In this continuity, he is the co founder of the Justice League. In 2017 movie Justice League, it is implied that Victor got his abilities from only Mother Box and is never expressly stated what caused the loss of his limbs. Cyborg possesses cybernetic enhancements that provide superhuman strength and endurance and durability. Cyborg can also interface with computers. Built into his body armor are an infrared eye, computer generator, sound amplifier, white noise cannon, and special programming adapters that allowed him to interface with other body extensions. Big cybernetics afford him greater strength than the average human, and in some cases, few extraterrestrials. Initially able to bench 5 tons at his peak, constant upgrades to his system has caused it to fluctuate over time. His bones are reinforced with molybdenum steel, while his outer body is laden with promethium skin grafts. 
Due to cybernetic enhancements, Stone's five senses were increased to superhuman levels. At his request, Dr. Silas Stone installed jump jets so that he wouldn't be so dependent on boom tubes. Apparently, the jump jets provides the ability to super jump over large distances. In addition to his jumping capability, it enables self-propelled motion. He has superior computing skills like cyberspace immersion. Cyborg can download his consciousness into cyberspace, or as he calls it, Digiverse. He can reshape parts of his body into various weapons and technological equipment. His arsenal includes a finger laser attachment, telescopic eyepiece, sonic disruptor, electric shocker, grappling hooks, winches and electromagnetic pulse cannons. Cyborg has the ability to open boom tubes to and from most any point towards anywhere, be it in the universe or the multiverse. But it isn't perfect however due to the amount of mass weighing heavily upon transport capability. For every one in a thousand jumps, can accidentally lead him straight to apocalypse. After having tinkered with his internal workings, Victor has found a way to promenade undetectable transport. His effects are such that not even Superman can detect them. Cyborg showcases self-regenerative capabilities as not only are his technological parts able to reintegrate after destruction, but recently his damaged flesh has also been shown regenerating beneath and around his cybernetic systems. After completely merging with his mother box, Cyborg became a conduit for the entire multiverse. This allows Victor to draw power from its energies. Boasting a vast cosmological type of positioning system allows Cyborg to navigate the infinite possibilities of existence. Cyborg is capable of transporting himself and others into hypertime from a direct angle, something even the Flash couldn't use the speed force to do. He can use the energies his upgrades provide to sheath others in an oxygenated environment aura to fly alongside himself. Cyborg can draw energies of the multiverse itself through use of element X, to make himself and his tech stronger. In addition to his mechanical enhancements, Stone possesses an exceptionally gifted level of intelligence. His IQ has been measured at 170. Despite being so overpowered, Vic possesses few weaknesses. Both its mechanical and physical parts can be affected by magic. During battle against the Fearsome Five, part of his body was transformed into liquid metal by Jinx. And apparently his cybernetic part doesn't provide resistance against mental control, be telepathic or psionic in nature. When talking about the prospects of the solo story, we must take a look at the possible antagonists, since Cyborg mostly worked together with Justice League and Teen Titans, and rarely had adventures of his own, most of the villains he had to face were opposing Justice League or Teen Titans, like Deathstroke or Simon. However, there are exceptions, one very notable one is Grid. After he was given the technology that kept him alive, Cyborg realized that with its telecommunications he could keep constant watch on every superhuman on Earth. However, aware of the invasion of privacy, he refused to consciously hunt for information, leaving secondary cybernetic systems to passively compile information. He began to refer to the software that created these secondary systems as the grid. The software grew and developed into a neural network with behavioral quirks copied from the viruses and hackers it encountered. It was shepherded into full sentience by Atomica, who used it to steal all the data of the Justice League adventures. When she betrayed the heroes to the crime syndicate from Earth 3, she brought it with her onto the villain team. The machine mind, now Christian Grid, stole Cyborg's cybernetic prosthetics to make body for itself, and went to join the crime syndicate in exchange for their promised help in achieving his ultimate goal, emotions, which were the one thing Victor Stone had that it could not replicate. He could be the one to serve as Cyborg's nemesis. Another and the most recent foe that Cyborg had to face were Techno Sapiens, led by the villain named Alpha. Introduced in Cyborg's recent solo series, the Techno Sapiens come from another universe inside the multiverse. They are made up from races all over the universe infected by a cyber parasite that takes over their brains. They were attracted to Earth by modifications made by Cybertech by Silas Stone in an attempt to save his wife Eleanor. They could successfully take the role of the main antagonist in future films since DC Cinematic Universe is mostly set in the Prime Earth continuity. Both of those villains bring forth